Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Harrower number one. This is a new series from Boom Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team before we get into the series. Uh, this is written by Justin Jordan with illustrations by Bram Revel and letters by Pat Brousseau. Um, in this book, there's nothing to fear in the quaint town of Barlow, New York, except that is for the Harrower. The children wish this boogeyman was just an urban legend, but this purveyor of puritanical vengeance against the unrighteous is very real, and there's no escape because the harrower seems unkillable and spans generations always returning. What secrets will Jessa Brink, a teenage girl obsessed with the harrower, uncover, and will she be able to escape the pull of her own morbid fixation? This deconstruction of a slasher genre is the fresh and terrifyingly grounded take that is perfect for fans of Bone Orchard and The Closet. Both excellent, excellent books. Um, I really enjoyed this first issue. It definitely does feel like uh, a bit of a throwback to the 90s slasher. Uh, I'm thinking like, you know, Scream and a lot of the remakes from from the, the, er the early 80s. So I really, really enjoy that. I think also um uh revels art it's it really just fits the tone uh it's a little edgy a little jaggy like there's nothing that is uh too overwhelming nothing too stylized but it's also just uh, a really cool design for the harrower uh, so let's take a look at some preview pages here um it also reminds me a lot of the, the urban legend movies which i always really enjoyed uh you know in this quaint little town we have this uh sheriff who is looking around and of course things are going to immediately escalate this book doesn't hold back it's actually like pretty gruesome as well uh but it has a lot of really fun tropes which we'll get to in a minute when we're looking at these preview pages but look at the design of the harrower just so cool like the strength the the, the viciousness uh and then the tint of the coloring uh as it goes red uh, in the last few panels of the set of the second page really cool stuff and then we get to see the teenagers the people that were going to be following around pretty much throughout this book um and then the fact that in this town the harrower like everyone talks about it it's it's not it's almost kind of like reminds me of pennywise if it was more out in the open also i love the coloring shift uh you know once we're at the school uh, it's just such an interesting approach this book definitely feels like i said a throwback to a great slasher so I quite enjoyed this first issue. Uh, I hope you guys will as well. But let me know what you thought about the book down in the comments. Uh, let me know which variant you picked up. There's a few cool variants that I'll show some at the end of the video. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,